So I swear that I already talked about all of this at some point. Like, I went on a huge rant and filmed it and everything. I just don't know when or where because I have, like, a thousand clips on my phone. And I went through them all, and apparently I didn't do, film anything about this. So anyway, here are some materials. First, we have the handle, and then there's some magnets. So the plan was that I have this aluminum framing that I used to make the doors, and I did a video about making the doors with the aluminum framing. And then also the screen is within the doors because the doors is just window screen, or it's window rims that I put together. And then I put screen, and that's what I put within the rims of these 55-gallon vertical fish tanks. And that's how I was going to do the doors for these three 55-gallon vertical crust gecko tanks. And then I was like, how am I going to lock it? Because there's no locks that fit in such a small area. And I, I just wasn't sure how I wanted to attach things and do things. Like, I didn't really want to have a tiny latch because I thought that looked bad. And there was no deadbolts, like, small enough. So... I tried magnets, and it was like this tape magnet stuff, and it just didn't hold at all. And it was already difficult enough because the doors were kind of janky on their own, and they kind of popped around because the, the mesh kind of pulled them every which way. And as you can see here, it's kind of like not perfectly flat, which was super annoying. And the the magnets just didn't hold at all. It was they're awful. And then the I tried out the handle and the handle would have worked fine. But then then what I realized is like two things at once. Like first of all, these doors aren't working out, and second of all, they're not working out anyway because their screen or mesh, uh, like uh, carbon fiber window screen mesh. So basically, just window screen, and. It's way too dry in my house to have crust geckos kept like this. Like, I'd need to spray them down, like, a lot more than I have time to do. So I need to have, like, glass fronts. And then I had to figure out how the heck... To, like, I originally wanted glass fronts, but I didn't want to build, build frames out of wood because that was the only option. So then I was like, how the heck can I do glass fronts without doing the hard part, which is making them out of wood and such. So then my my next, uh, like I went through many different ideas of what the heck I could do. And there, apparently there's no like framing you can buy. Like this is frame for window screen. I couldn't find any frame for like glass that's like super thin. So I don't know. I bet you could look into, like, picture frames. Anyway, it's done now. It doesn't matter. So I removed this piece because I wanted to, this door, because there's no geckos in this, this first tank, and I just removed one of the pieces of aluminum because I wanted to bend out part of the aluminum to see if I could make it so it would hold glass. And I did that, but it sucked, and that was not a good option. So, so far, I've built all these doors, and I've realized that they kind of suck for what I need to use them for. And then I bought the magnets that didn't work, and the handles were kind of pointless at this point, because, I mean, I only bought one handle to try it out. But ultimately, I didn't end up using it. I think I returned it. And I returned, like, the other thing of magnets or something. I think I got two. And... Yeah, so none of this was working out at all. And what I eventually decided on after trying all of this stuff and wasting a ton of time putting all of these things together to make glass doors, which was the original idea that I didn't go with. To be fair, though, these did work for a while. What I ended up doing is I took some lovely painter's tape and I taped on some saran wrap onto the doors because I'm basically an engineer. And <laughs> I don't know. That worked to keep the humidity in. So that's what it was for months because 
I did this project over winter break and then I had school and that's probably why I didn't film any of what I did is just because I needed to I needed to have something going on so the geckos wouldn't like de get dehydrated but like I couldn't film everything actually my genius self decided I would just bring in a humidifier and close the door of my room because that couldn't end in tons of mildew. I even knew mil like it's not like I'm stupid. Like I know that if you get a like if you get your house really humid, then it molds. I knew that. I literally did, and I was like, eh. meh. Um, so that was disgusting. And I probably still should go back and clean the corners of my room because eventually I was like, okay, this is enough. I need to do something. And what I wanted to do was build these doors. Uh, I do have the doors on now. Uh, but it's like months and months and months later. That was in... I finished the I finished the doors this summer. And you'll see that video sometime. I don't know. It'll be a while uh, before you'll see that video. And that took tons of time to build. Those are like... I do not recommend building those. They took ages to properly build and everything. But I certainly did not have that time or like skill to build those at that time, which was in December when I built that and or when I set up the tanks originally. And then I built the doors this summer in like July, the July, August area type thing. So it was a while that they were just like temporarily being there, held up with painter's tape and everything. And that's just how it was. But now they are there and they have custom locks and everything's great and grand. And I'll show that in future videos because I actually did film that because, you know, I am a YouTuber and I film things sometimes. Actually, I film a lot. But the problem is I don't have as much time to edit it which is why I'm only editing this video now, even though I filmed it in December. So that is how things are. Uh, I, I eventually did open my door and stop pumping in like water into the air with a humidifier. So my room's not insanely uncomfortable and gross and, and mildewy. And then the geckos were fine and they got proper humidity with the saran wrap, which is a technique that I continue to use with the exoterra enclosures. I put saran wrap, uh, I, I attach it, uh, so I'm not putting it on top of the screen, but like below the screen, so I'm not like keeping the screen moist. And that, and then I do that over part of the enclosure. So there's still airflow but it also stays more humid that way. And that's just because my room is very dry and I only spray down the enclosures like once every other day and they do perfectly fine with that. It keeps it nice and humid. So that's how I do things and it works and the geckos do well. And yeah, yeah. So That's the plan. So from here, I build the doors. The doors are its own process because I have to basically make the wood pieces myself and then uh, make the frames myself with really thin pieces of wood and then attach glass myself. All of these things I've never done before and all of it's really thin and hard to work with. And it took hours and hours and hours and hours of work to finally get the doors, which are, uh, yeah. They look like that. So they look really great, which is nice considering it took forever to do them. And also there's a bunch of other stuff that you guys don't know about yet because like I said, it's like months and months and later and to you like two geckos were just born that are now like adults. So yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that's how backed up everything is, and that's, yeah, basically everything that I'm just now getting to things that happened in, like, December, and that's just because life, and, yeah, so I have tons of content, 
I just don't edit it. I, I don't have tons of time to edit it. So, yeah, now school's starting again, so that's awful. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you happen to like this weird video where I kind of rant about how crappy I did and then, you know, tell you everything's magically better in a couple months, then um, stay tuned because this is what I do. And also like the video if you want or not, I don't care. And then leave a comment, like a relevant comment um, or not, I don't care. Do what you want.